Hello everybody, welcome to Living Raw with Rosie. So I am in Salt Lake City, Utah and it is snowing here. Yes, it's about 30 degrees so it's the cold is not as bad. I mean it's still bearable and it's doable but it's super cold, it's snowing and it looks just so beautiful. I wanted to make this uh, video to tell you guys that I'm eating raw lately. i still eating raw and the issue that I had that I've been having eating raw lately has been that my body actually when I eat my breakfast in the morning my body gets cold. Yes, my body gets cold and I feel like a chill right after I eat it. So immediately after having my breakfast I tend to go towards having a hot tonic. Now I made a video on my other channel Living Plant Based with Rosie uh, on a hot tonic recipe which is wonderful. It's so delicious. It actually does keep me warm spend these cold months. So um, if you guys want to see that recipe I'm going to leave a link below on that hot tonic that I've been drinking which is super super delicious. I love it and I've been making it with cashew milk. I kind of been addicted to cashew milk lately. I don't know it's because of the thick creaminess of the milk that actually helps my body stay warm. I think that might be it because my body actually feels super warm when I drink that um, tonic and that fat from the cashews that I, the cashew milk that I make and hemp seeds. I've been using the hemp seeds and cashews to make that thick creamy milk for my hot tonic which also has a raw cacao in it and dandelion and um, other things in it. In the video I tell you exactly what's in it but it's so delicious you guys have to try it. It'll keep you warm during this season. The only thing that I'm kind of worried about is the fact that I am um, eating a lot of the, drinking a lot of the nut milks, which I don't know if it's going to affect me because I haven't drank this many nut milks since I've been eating raw because I've never lived in a cold uh, climate like I live in now here in Utah. But um, if you guys have any suggestions on milks that I could drink that are not, not so high in fat, please let me know because what I'm doing is I'm cutting back on my um, on my dressings for my salads in order to drink my my nut milk so to keep my fat intake lower so I don't have to worry about such a high fat intake for the day especially when I'm actually have not been very active because uh, it's snowing so I'm not doing a lot of exercises I did not bring my rebounder with me from um, Florida. I left it there and that would have been amazing if I did use my rebounder because that helps me a lot with my weight. I do a lot of cardio on it. Um, anyways, could give you guys a little view of this beautiful, beautiful snow here. Okay guys, I'm super excited. I found, uh, been shopping around, going to different uh, health food stores and I finally found my Silk Unsweetened Organic Soy Milk. And that's exactly what I've been looking for. I'm not a fan of soy, especially soy products and soy milk because all the soy uh, grown here in the U.S. is totally GMO soy. It's grown like the uh, corn is. And the only soy that we should be eating, if we're eating any soy in tofu or any other foods, it should be uh, organic soy. So this is my organic soy uh, milk. 
that I found for my hot tonics that I'll be drinking uh, during this cold weather. Um, usually, uh, I like making my own nut milks, but like I said earlier, I've been doing cashew and hemp milk a lot, and it's it it's just bringing my fat ratio really high for the day, and I'm not able to eat other fats for dinner in my salads. So uh, I got the soy because that's the lowest fat content that content and in the soy milk but make sure it's organic because like I said all the soy here is grown GMO and uh, if you get any type of soy products make sure they're organic very important thanks guys for watching bye